So you guys that remembered back um, a couple of months ago, I mentioned when we bought our new slurry tanker that we were getting new wheels in our slurry tanker. Today I'm just after getting a call from Gary at McManus Tires that our new wheels have landed with them over the weekend. He's going to be here probably within an hour to fit them. What I have to do now is hook on this slurry tanker and take it out into the yard to give him a bit of room to work. Now I would like to also say today's video is sponsored by Kirby Tires Ireland and Alliance Tires. Thank you so much to them guys. Huge supporters of our channel and have been for quite a while now. You remember we actually bought the tires for our tractor, um, our Alliance AgriStar 2s. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it in the link where Gary, the same guy that's coming out to us again from McManus Tires, fitted those for us. It made a huge difference to our tractor. Going by the feedback you guys left as well, you knew yourselves, it made a huge difference to the stance of this tractor. We're putting the exact same size of tire on again, same rim as well. And um, when we bought this tank, the deal that we had with Lakeland was that we weren't actually buying the wheels. The wheels was taken off the price. We we're going to be giving them back to Lakeland when our new tires came. So Jared from Lakeland Machinery will be coming to pick them up um, tomorrow probably and take them back and use them on another job. You remember Colin from the decal shed? Well, he'll be coming back sometime. I think he already has them made and put new details on this tank as well. So that'll freshen it up too. Right, so we're just after hooking on the tanker on the back of the tractor in a level enough spot. I'll let them come down here and park in the yard and then I'll reverse back into this more level spot here. So 
just in case somebody is on it again, we have our masks on us, we are keeping our distance. Um, Gary, as you remember before, who done the work uh, fitting our Agri Star 2s on our Case 895. Um, back there, I suppose it's winter time now, it doesn't be long gone by. Um, Gary, what can you tell us about these wheels that have been sent out to us? So, these are the Alliance 750 70 26. Their equivalent size is 28.126. Yeah. That'll be the older size. They have the exact same tyre that came off, and the 20.8, the 28.126 is the equivalent size now until a 750 70 26. This is the older size. They also are a premium tyre by Alliance. Rim and tyre supplied by Kirkby Tyres Ireland. If anybody has any inquiries of buying a new tanker or a used tanker, they can always look up and get their measurements and Kirkby can supply both rim and tyre for your job. Contact your manufacturer that's doing your tank that they can get on to Kirkby Tyres Ireland and they can match rim and tyre to suit your machine. These Alliance tyres and rims supplied by Kirkby do come in a lot of new tankers now because the wheels match and outstanding the quality of the machine. The AgriStar 370 are capable of carrying up to 10% more weight compared to the standard 85 series tyre. The R1W thread and special shoulder design to help better traction and also have better self-cleaning properties. An increased tyre footprint and flotation properties helps minimise ground pressure reducing soil compaction and improving yields. So some of you may know from the previous video that Alliance Tires is supplied by Kirkby Tires Ireland and Kirkby Tires Ireland has been the exclusive importers of Alliance Tires for the past 60 years. So any of that haven't dealt with McManus Tires before, obviously Gary works for McManus Tires. This is the van here. Gary McManus Tires, for those people who don't know already who they are, um, who do you supply to um, normally around there? What counties do you mainly cover? Well, we get uh, around anywhere and everywhere this past while. We've been calving actually quite a lot from the previous video. The people, <laughs> I heard you're a bit of a celebrity, all right, Gott. Uh, people, <laughs> people is now biting and getting a wee bit more information on the Alliance now and getting a wee bit more popular. and. A lot of contractors is going for them now and is happy with them and if anybody has any inquiries or looking any detail or anything like that on the Alliance tires don't be afraid to give us a call we come out we fit on site whether it's a new tire or rim or even a puncture we offer the on site we can come out and get you going wherever you may be Right, so it's the day after. Gary finished up later on yesterday evening. It was getting to milking time and I just didn't get the chance to do any more filming yesterday evening. But you've seen what you've seen. I let you cast your opinion on them. How could you complain with those? They are really, really a classy looking tire. You might like my new jacket. I'm liking it. And you might wonder, hey, it's coming near May, wearing a jacket? Yeah, well, this time yesterday morning, you wouldn't have been wearing a jacket. It was really warm until you got to yesterday evening, it got really cold. But today, I am glad of a jacket because it is Baltic. It's freezing cold. It's starting to spit a little rain, which is welcome because the ground has got way, way too hard. Zero growth. Um, it really is a problem for a lot of farmers. Thankfully, we have a lot of silage. Our cows are still in at night, which is... Not what we want. We're getting really into summertime now. We want cows outside. We want them to have their time outside. Less work, more time to spend out in the fields doing jobs. Further down the country where land would be much drier than what it is here. Um, they're experiencing a lot of problems. There's a big want on father down there already. 
and people are grazing their silage ground which we did graze some of our silage ground I'll be honest with you we have grazed the silage ground that's at home because I didn't want to keep the cows in during the daytime they're eating a lot of silage at night they're glad to get in at night because it is ferocious cold and we're having a lot of frost as well it's a funny old time as I said before it's a funny old time so I'm glad we're wearing my jacket but this jacket is up for you guys to win not this very one i'm keeping this one for myself I have a brand new one of these to give away in wrapped in all this plastic ready to go size large large is the only size i have in it Science and kirby sent this jacket out to us it has kirby written in the back we sent it off to our embroidery company and got our own logo put onto it too which i think looks fairly good again the color it's a darkish gray color very warm jacket a really nice dressy jacket so if you want to be in with a chance of winning this jacket what question can I ask? Well, I was thinking about this for a while and I was wondering to myself what would be an easy question because I want everybody to be able to chance to win this and we're going to just pick a winner at random. The tires we got fitted in our case, obviously were... Oh, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I nearly said it, but I'm not going to say it. All you have to do is tell me what brand we put it on our case, what brand model, as in that type of tire, and what size we put both front and back. That's all you have to do, write that in the comment box below. So brand, type, size. Because we've done competitions before, we've had people who have had the same name, which has kind of left it awkward. Some people said, that was my name, this is my name. So I'm going to ask you to do is put your name and also put your location. So if you want to put Ireland, put Ireland and your county. If you're the UK, put UK and put roughly where you are and vice versa for any other country as well. We'll keep this open for everybody. We'll put this on Instagram too, so we'll give everybody a chance. So if you're on Instagram or on YouTube, it doesn't matter. You're gonna have the same opportunity to enter. We will pick a winner um, on next Sunday's video. So keep tuned for next Sunday when we will announce who the winner is, and then you'll be able to send us on your details. And you'll get yourself a nice dressy jacket. And I have to say, it's a quality premium jacket. You'll be super happy with it. As I said before on the tractor, when we've done the case, the tires in the case, nearly going to say the tire brand again. I'm not giving it away. You have to go and look yourself. Kirby don't supply to the farmer directly. So if you want to get yourself a set of, whether it's rims, rim conversions, tires, alliance tires, all you have to do is go to your local dealer all over Ireland. McManus tires is just one of them. They're all spotted all over Ireland. You have no problem getting yourself a set of these wheels. And if you like the ones you're looking at now and you're going to buy a new tanker, you can ask the dealership to put a set of these wheels onto your new tanker. Now, another thing you will say to me, and I got a lot of comments about this, the last wheels I had on, <clears throat> some people said they were on backwards. And I had to scratch my head about this because I always assumed that the tire should match the direction of the tractor. Well, you were right and I was wrong, completely wrong. Gary mentioned to me here, he says, do you want the tires put on the same way as your old tires come off or do you want me to put them around the opposite way because normally he says they would be on the opposite way around because what happens is when your tires make the imprint in the ground facing that way these come along and they'll kind of fill the ground back in again facing the opposite way and that's kind of the theory behind it i didn't know anything about that that was completely new to me so i made a phone call to lakeland machinery when i was here and i asked them but new tanks that leave their yard i also made a phone call to abby and I spoke to the guys in Abbey and Nina and I asked them, your new tanks, what way is your tires come? And this is the way the tires come. So you guys were right, I thank you for that. Um, and even Gary for pointing it out. Um, again, I might have missed it if Gary hadn't have said it. I hadn't it in my head whatsoever, only he said it to me and he was 100% right. So problems fixed. Listen to what you guys said and the tires are on the right way around. Another little great thing on the rim, a lot of you might point out, some of you mightn't notice it, but little things like having a guard around the valve to protect the valve. I think that should be on every machine, whether it's a tractor or whatever it is, there should be a, always have some sort of a guard to protect the valve because you're always going to be going again things that will always have a risk of taking that valve clean out of it. So simple, but it does make a difference. So before I leave today's video, I'd like to thank a couple of people who made this video possible today and that is Kirby Tires Ireland, uh, Alliance Tires, and McManus Tires Dundalk. Them three has worked with us before and I've been phenomenal supporters to the channel. And I thank you so much. None of this would happen without you guys watching, of course, but them guys reached out to us 
and have been really really good to us ever since and we really really appreciate that i'll put a link to these tires you can check out the specs prices whatever you want it'll all be there you can do as you please but that's it i'm gonna leave for the day i'm gonna to off to do a few other jobs here now to get next sunday's video ready because we're just in the height of getting things ready to start moving clay up to the top of our hill just a lot of stuff to get done in a short period of time but anyway folks until the next one thanks very much for always don't forget hit that sub button give us a like and put a comment down below we'll always do our best to get back to them you can follow us on instagram facebook and on tiktok and until the next one folks talk to you again